Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at creating and applying SSL certificates to the Portainer web interface. To get started, launch XCA and open your existing PKI database. Select the Certificates tab, then expand the root and intermediate CAs. To save on some typing, right-click an existing certificate, then select Transform and Similar Certificate. On the Subject tab, update the internal name and common name to the DNS entry the SSL certificate will identify. Then click the Generate a New Key button and Create. On the Extensions tab, set the validity, then edit the subject alternative name and enter any DNS or IP addresses that the SSL certificate will be used to identify. Once finished, click the Apply button. On the Key Usage tab, select Digital Signature and Key Encipherment, as well as TLS Web Server and Web Client. Click OK to complete creating the certificate. If prompted, click Adjust Date and Continue. Right-click on the newly created certificate and select Export File. Leave the export format PEM.CRT and set the file name to the path to your desktop, then click OK. Select the Private Keys tab, then right-click the new private key created for the certificate and select Export File. Leave the export format PEM private, then set the file name to the path of your desktop with a .key extension. We now have a certificate and key file on our desktop ready to be applied to Portainer. The first method of applying the SSL certificates is doing so through the Portainer web UI. I'll start by SSHing to the Docker host and recreating my Portainer container to make sure it's listening for SSL connections on port 9443. I'll use the docker ps command to output a list of the running containers. Then I'll stop the portainer container. I'll remove it using docker rm. Then I'll recreate it, making sure to forward port 9443 on the host to 9443 in the container. Back in the web browser, I can navigate to the DNS name of the docker host on HTTPS over port 9443. By default, portainer will use a self-signed certificate, so I need to click through the privacy warning. Login to Portainer is normal. Once logged in, select Settings from the left navigation menu. Scroll down to the SSL Certificate section. Click the Select File button, then browse to and select the cert file from your desktop. Then do the same for the key file and select Apply Changes. Portainer will kick you back to the login screen, but at this point it's using the new SSL certificate. You may need to close the Portainer Browser tab for the new SSL certificate to take effect and show as trusted. The second method for applying the SSL certificate is doing so when you create the Docker container with the docker run command. For this method, we need to copy the certificate and key file to the Docker host. We'll start by downloading the WinSCP client. Navigate to your downloads directory and extract the downloaded zip archive. Then run winscp.exe to launch the application. When prompted, complete the form to connect to the Docker host. In the file explorer in the right pane, navigate to the location of the Portainer container's persistent data. Then in the left pane, navigate to your desktop. Copy the exported certificate and key file to the Docker host by dragging it from the left pane to the right pane. Connect to the Docker host via SSH. Next, we'll stop, remove, and recreate the Portainer container with flags pointing it to the new SSL certificate. In the new docker run command, note the dash SSL flag as well as the SSL cert and SSL key flags being passed. Now if we open a web browser and navigate back to the Portainer web UI over HTTPS, the SSL certificates will be in use. 